Welcome to the Injured Gadgets YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a Note 8 disassembly. We'll start by placing our device on our CPB heating pad at 75 degrees for anywhere from 4 to 6 minutes. Now I kind of jumped the gun here and didn't leave it on too long, but we will be using our iFlex opening tool to separate the glass back from the rest of the frame. Now that the glass back is off, we can remove the screws holding the mid-frame together. Now our next step is to remove the NFC coil from the top part here. You can just use tweezers or a nylon spudger to pry it loose. Next we will do the same with the loudspeaker. It should pry free fairly easy. Now we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery first and then move on to disconnecting the camera and iris scanner. Now we will disconnect the proximity and flash flex cable, then the LCD flex cables here before disconnecting the S Pen flex cable. Now we can remove the last anchor screw for the motherboard and all the screws for the dot connector before removing the SIM tray. Now that all the screws are removed and the SIM tray is out, we can remove the main board and disconnect it from the dot connector here. I would recommend using a nylon spudger or fingernails and not a metal tweezer like I was about to use. And the antenna wires, you can disconnect those and then the motherboard should come free. Now to remove the rear cameras, simply unplug the flex and once that's done you can use uh, blunt nose tweezers or a nylon spudger to kind of wiggle and pry it loose from the main board. Now we will remove the ear speaker 
There's a little notch in the side that you can fit some blunt nose tweezers in and again, wiggle and pry it loose from the frame. Next, we'll remove the proximity and flash. Now there's some little foil tape that you'll need to slice through, but once that's done, it should come free quite easily. Now to remove the dot connector, you'll first unplug the headphone jack. And then the Note 8s are nice because if you wiggle the dock connector, the headphone jack usually pops out on its own, and then the dock will come free quite easily. Now finally is the vibrator motor. Now with the Note 8s, it's a little tricky. You typically go in under those two contact points with some tweezers to loosen it, and then there's a little nook in the back where you can fit your tweezers into to help wiggle it out of its casing. And that completes our Note 8 disassembly. Thanks for watching, and if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.